Welcome to the Imaginative Storm Writing Prompt of the Week session. I'm James Nave. I'm Allegra Houston. And thank you ever so much for tuning in. Every Saturday morning our time, 10 o'clock Mountain Time, which is noon Eastern, 5 p.m. London Time, we meet on Zoom and do a writing prompt. It's free for whoever wants to turn up and explore their imagination with us. If you would like to join us, you can always find that Zoom link at imaginativestorm.com. And of course, as you know, if you can't make it on the Saturday morning, you can catch up with the weekly writing prompt here on YouTube. And this Saturday morning, as usual, we offered a, a prompt. This Saturday, it was a, an image. And so what we would like to do today is offer you the same prompt. And uh, what we will do is time you for two minutes as you look at this image and write down a list of words. Whatever words come to your mind, they don't have to have anything to do with the image, they don't have to have anything to do with one another, and keep them as a list, not joined up writing, uh, for two minutes, and we will see you when we come back. So now you have your personal list of words you generated. So this morning on the call, we generated a community list. And the way we did that, we went around to each person and got one word from each person. Sometimes it was a phrase. And we put those together in a community list. And what we'd like to do now is read that community list for you. And Allegra will do that. Looking into the past, on second thought, Mustachio. I'm not Sunday dinner. Enchanté. I'm badass. Spurred. Intense. Draping plumage. Business in front, party in the back. He has spurs. Partially pre-plucked. Stunned anger. Scrupulous. Plucking feathers. Bedraggled, shake a tail feather baby, dandy, predicament of the alpha male, cocky cock, gallantry, he has some issues, barnyard king, machismo, hey that's my hen, cockfight club loser with alopecia, just trying to keep my dignity. So Allegra read the list, and she read the list without punching any of the words. If you would like to play around with the list or any list of words, 
All you have to do is just take a look at the word list and you will see all kinds of images that pop out that will join together automatically. It's almost by magic. Do you have any examples of that, Allegra? Well, the dandy predicament of the alpha male. Um, enchanté, I'm badass, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> or how about plucking feathers, I was a bit bedraggled on the day I thought I was a dandy, but the predicament of the alpha male left me feeling a bit like a worn out barnyard king. So you can see how it's so easy just to play around and the and, and enjoy enjoy the words on the list. So now, Allegra, how are we going to well, do this? We're going to now time you um, as you write for ten minutes. Anything, whatever you want to write. Uh, it can be long or short, prose or poetry. It can be about roosters and hens and cockfights or have nothing whatsoever to do with animals or anything like that. It can be fiction, it can be nonfiction. Whatever you choose, whatever your imagination chooses to write is the perfect way to go. We like to think of this as a dance between the rational mind and the imaginative mind with the imaginative mind leading the dance. So it's not about deciding what you're going to write before you start writing. It's about just putting your pen to the paper and seeing where it leads you. And on our Saturday morning calls, we often have people who put the pen down and they write furiously for 10 minutes. And I don't know how they do it. It's just very, very long. Today, one of uh, our participants wrote three lines. She said, I just didn't know what to do, so I waited until something felt true, and I wrote three lines, and it felt true. And she said, and then I was done. That's that. So <laughs> the long, long piece, or the short piece, or any way you, you want to approach it, it's fine with us. And what we would like for you to do is just let your imaginative storm mind, your imaginative mind, dance with your rational mind, and let your imaginative mind lead the dance. And the 10 minutes starts now.
if you're pleased with what you wrote, we would really appreciate it if you would post it on our Imaginative Storm Circle community. And Allegra will now tell you how you can do that. So when you get to imaginativestorm.com, you'll see the Zoom link for the writing prompt of the week here, right up at the top. And if you scroll down, you'll see, join us on Circle. Click that and it will take you to the Circle. If it's your first visit, it will ask you to sign up. That's free. You can use your Google or Facebook ID or create a new ID. And then you will end up on a page that looks like this. Over here on the left, you'll see the prompt of the week. And when you get there, the most recent prompt will be up at the top. And you can see this growing archive of other writing prompts that you might want to investigate. Click on the prompt and there you will see it along with the image, if it was an image and the community list of words and what other people have written in response to that prompt. And Elaine did this lovely thing of posting it in writing and then also posting her video of herself reading it. So you might want to do that too. And then if we want to comment on what other people have written, we can just hit reply. But if you scroll down to the bottom of that prompt, you'll see a place where what it says, what are your thoughts? And you can insert here what you wrote to the prompt. And then when we read it, we can hit reply and tell you what we loved about it. So there you go. So once you've posted your work on Imaginative Storm Circle, um, you can invite any of your own friends and family to read it there. Uh, you don't have to be a part of our Saturday morning calls in order to, um, to join our, our circle. Um, and we are very happy for anyone who's interested in the free play of imaginative writing to go to the circle and read what is posted there. You will also find another section just under prompt of the week uh, then there is 10 minute triumphs, which are places for people, a uh, place for people to post other 10 minute pieces of writing that aren't the prompt of the week. And below that, you'll find one last lunch. And that's an area um, inspired by a book to which I was asked to contribute, edited by Erica Heller, in which she asked uh, 49 other writers, and she was the 50th, I think that's how it worked, um, to imagine a lunch with someone they love who is no longer alive. And she contacted me out of the blue, I never met her in my life, and asked me if I would write a lunch with my mother who died when I was four. It was a terrifying thing to start doing and I put it off for six months. But once I had written it, I felt that it was one of the best things I've ever written, but I also felt closer to my mother than I ever did before. I got some extraordinary insights out of imagining that lunch. I've encouraged other people to write last lunches as well, and they've had the same experience. In fact, you can read one by Lou Faber that is posted on the, on the circle where he also imagined a lunch with his mother, whom he didn't know because he was adopted. So this was a lunch with his biological mother. And he had, again, this extraordinarily nourishing, you know, warm experience. So if you're, if this is something that you're enjoying, um, this kind of imaginative writing, I really encourage you to try a last lunch and please post it. And of course, we do encourage you, as Allegra said, to invite your friends to read your work. We also would like to invite you to join us on Saturday morning for our circle in, in, in the Zoom life, in the Zoom room. And you can find the link to that on imaginativestorm.com. And also keep in mind, we have some books available. One book is How to Edit and Be Edited, written by Allegra Houston. And the other book is a book that she and I both wrote, Allegra and I wrote, called How to Read for an Audience. So both of those are available, plus our Imaginative Storm writer training opportunities. So we would just love to have you be more a part of the group, most especially to, to see your face on our Saturday morning calls. That, that would be really wonderful. And thank you for tuning in here. We hope that you enjoyed this prompt and that you'll join us again. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.